Hi, I'm John with Fluidine, and today what we're going to do is show you how to build a standard V10 pump. I already have all the components here, uh, the front body, cover, cartridge kit, cartridge kit pins, pressure plate, pressure plate spring, O-rings, shaft and bearing, and then all the bolts to hold everything together. So the start, first thing you want to do is install the shaft seal, make sure it's pressed all the way down inside the bore, and then once you do that, you're going to set it with the shaft seal facing up. Press the bearing onto your shaft and hold it in place with the retaining ring. And then once you have that assembled, you're going to install it inside your body like this. So after that's all installed, then we're going to go ahead and install our retaining ring to hold this shaft and bearing in place inside the body. Once your retaining ring is in place and secured, then we can flip this body over. And what we'll do next is install the pins for the cartridge kit. Those should just slide in, and then next we'll go ahead and put an O-ring on there. Now we can go ahead and install our cartridge kit onto the body. Now these cam rings do have an arrow for direction of rotation cast into them, so that will tell you which rotation you're going to have this pump. Uh, and it's always viewed from the shaft end on these vein pumps. So if you want right hand, the arrow is going to point to the right, viewed from the shaft end. Left hand, you're going to just flip the cam ring. You don't need to flip the rotor and veins, those are bi-rotational. So this unit here, will have it as a right-handed rotation, and we'll set the cam ring on there, and then we'll take the rotor and veins, and we'll slide that right on the splines of the shaft and inside there. Now these veins, they do have a rounded edge on one side, and that's going to go towards the cam ring. The flat edge always goes towards the inside of the rotor. So once we have all that installed, uh, you can go ahead and put a, a little bit of oil on there just to pre-lubricate these parts before you put on your pressure plate. Then we'll put the pressure plate on here. Next, we'll install the second O-ring. That's going to seal between the cam ring and the cover. And then your spring that goes on top of the pressure plate to hold your pressure plate in place uh, to give it, make sure you can build pressure inside this cartridge kit. So we'll go ahead and slide this cover on here. Um, this is a point where you can determine which porting position you'd like. You could have either A, which is opposite porting uh, between the two, C, which is in line, or B or D, which is 90 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise porting. So we'll go ahead and set this cover on here and we'll just push it down by hand to make sure that it it seats all the way down and holds the O-ring in place so when we do install the bolts it doesn't extrude the O-ring and damage the O-ring. So we'll just tighten one of these down by, by hand and then once we get it fairly snugged up we can go ahead and let go of the cover and then we can just install the other four bolts. After you have all those in and tightened down you want to go ahead and torque them to about 45 to 50 foot-pounds. And that's how you assemble a standard V10 unit. Be sure to like us on Facebook and in tune into more of our YouTube videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.